Rose are red, violets are blue. Trim your balls and your date will thank us too. Ooh. Valentine's Day is knocking and Manscaped has your prescription from Dr. Love, which is me. The all new performance package 5.0 Ultra. They say laughter is the best medicine, Jamie, but nothing trims your ball as good as the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Featuring skin safe technology, this waterproof shaver also comes with the brightest LED spotlight yet. It's perfect for precise grooming, even in the trickiest spots, Jamie. But hey, that's not everything. What? This package also features the Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose Hair Trimmer, Manscaped Liquid Formulations, and two, not one, Jamie, two, two. free goodies, the Shed Travel Bag, and Boxers 2.0. Oh, the boxes are comfy. Oh, they are comfy, Jamie. There's also the Manscaped Refined Doctor's Potion to elevate your grooming routine and set the stage for a romantically smooth celebration. And for the Bearded Kings, Manscaped, Brings you the Beard Hedger. Not just the Beard Hedger, but the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It sculpts cheek lines and maintains beard styles, giving you that suave look for your romantic moments. Oh. Get 20% off the Dr. Love approved package and free shipping with the code Green Room. Let's get into the episode. So I'm not here to plug anything. Do you know what I'm here, lad? Friendship. Oh. The love of the game. <laughs> Fiddly dee <Deidre Little. laughs> <laughs> Why am I getting no applause breaks? <laughs> oh, lad. Tony the Barrel Carol. <laughs> Danny the Artistic Freak. <laughs> <laughs> what is the quote from Kevin Hart? From Kev? Oh, sorry, from Kevin. Kev. Um, <laughs> this is our proper domains, man. I was man when you were. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine then. <laughs> Uncle Jamie not looking after you? No, he says Moz is looking after us. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then my head, you know, my head started to grow and stuff. Uh, <laughs> 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 the Who of podcasting. Uh, we're recording when I'm using Let me figure it out. Who's literally one cup, man? Leon Osman. Because he's never in front of us. Never went on loan? No? Don't know. Gigs. Yep. Carragher. Yep. <laughs> Tony Cattle. Who? Tony Cattle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hot water all day, baby. Cut me and I bleed hot water. But give us a Gary Nell. Oh yeah, you're gonna press Hello. that light now. Yeah, I'll turn the I'll still give you the tea, but I'll turn the light on when it's right. oh, so have you have you moved your Uber? Been I didn't I haven't even booked it yet, so oh, yeah. whatever. There's millions in Liverpool. Oh, I mean it'll be fine, yeah. 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 Alright, Sam. And if not, I used to be a taxi driver anyway. So <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking jog on. No, we'll just do seven minutes of fucking gold here, innit? Yeah. Yeah, let's go over there. Yeah. Where did you go? What, what when should yeah. show? Because we can change the order we release it. We'll get into it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Do Hello, the, everyone. Hey. Do the plugs off, Gavin. <laughs> Are you ready, mate? Yeah, come on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our World Screaming Podcast <laughs> with me, Tony Carroll. Hey, it's me, Jamie Hutchinson. Miss McHugh there normally. Not, not usually. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't, well, I don't know if how this is released. Uh, yeah, it was after that. I was away But there's, though, a, there's it? an episode <laughs> when Tony was severely ill. Severely ill. Well, yeah. I was, went to full of away, which is <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, and today we have one of our most uh, requested guests. The most requested guest. And our good friend. Mr. Sugar Sheen Todd. It's yes. great to be here, lad. Didn't know whether that was my accent or like an Italian-American. <laughs> Sugar, Sugar Sheen Todd. <laughs> I'd, lo- I, I'd love to be called Shane. Would you? Yeah, just because of the Sugar Sheen. Yeah, but you could be uh, Jizzy Jamie. Jimmy or something nah, like that. Jazzy sugar, Jimmy? Man. What could you be, actually? Sugar. <laughs> jumping. No, jumping Jamie. Uh, uh, jumping well, Jamie. My, my dad's nickname was Hurricane Hutch. Right. That's the good. Hurricane. Hurricane Hurricane's Hutch. coming through. Because <laughs> I was a fast thrower. Tony the Barrel Carol. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Danny yeah. the Artistic Freak. <laughs> 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 that would me autism off anyway. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the autistic freak. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What would your box name be then? Would it be Sugar Would it be Sugar Shane? I went, we did the charity box and I went with Sugar Shane. Told, but see, looking back on it, I played it too safe. And next time, I want to be like... Shane the Pain. Oh, I, I like might that. incorporate my disease into it and be like the Crohn's kid or something. <laughs> the Crohn's Cro- the Cro- disease, so I could be like the Crohn Ranger or something like that. Oh, the Crohn Ranger's good. Do you want to be good, though, if you threw your opponents off, like Tony the fucking male ass eater, Carol? Yeah, that's what I'd do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then they'd be like, fucking hell, you going to eat my ass. Did you say the male arse eater? 
You just be the orator, no? No, because it's a male in it. Because I, I do his ass, but right, preferably female. Tony that only eats guys' ass. Yeah, is yeah, Carol. Yeah, yeah. So then he'd be like, "Fucking yeah. hell, they're gonna get me ass." Etty, you know, punched yeah. in the face. <laughs> Bruce Buffer, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting in the red corner, weighing in at 300 pounds. Let's, so, get, let's, so let's get ready to rimble. Hey, hey, boys. Hey, go on. Go on, mate. We set that rimble. up two days ago. <laughs> yeah. Delivered to perfection, that so though. Good. Just get into boxing. Like, get into boxing, mate. Oh, good, Al. Oh, lad, it's good to be here. But are you, what, 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 did you, what did you talk to you then? As soon as that? Here's the thing. Oh. I never be disrespectful to someone in their own house. We're in hot water doing this. The date had already been rescheduled. They go, we're building the new venue. Yeah. Then they go, it's also not going to be ready again. Now, in my head, you all work here, doing the renovations and all, helping your own club. We do, that. of course. Yeah, we're You've all got wee hard hats there. on, you know. Yeah. Paul Smith's doing fucking joinery. John Bishop's doing a bit of labouring to get it all ready in time. But then they went, it's not going to be ready again. So do you want to move it again? Or do you just want to do the original venue and already show on Late Show? And I said, let's do that. So by the numbers they already had, they both sold out. Oh, so. So, do you know, so I'm not here to plug anything. Do you know what I'm here, lad? Friendship. Oh. The love of the game. And I couldn't get uh, the flight. There was no cancellation. Mm. Oh. Insurance on the flight. So That's yeah, I couldn't cancel You cancelled last week when you made up your kid was ill. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the sad thing about that is? That's not a lie. Is it not? Oh. Tell, I hope tell he's okay. people. I bet, I bet, by the way, I bet you he doesn't know this. Yes, he is okay. Okay. I, I don't even have kids. <laughs> <laughs> now, people won't know this side of you. And I bet you don't even know this. When I asked about could you guys do a certain time, what did you call me? Oh, yeah. I called him Homo sapien. Why did you do that? He, he, no. Because he wanted to do midday, lad. He used two really bad slurs to me <laughs> over a DM. <laughs> Can you repeat them slurs? Will you blank this? Yeah, if you want. He called me. I said, "Could we do like 11? And he just wrote back. Really? Like imagine I went to you. Oh yeah, I would have called in that dog. Right, right, right. It's a very toxic group chat. You do record very early, don't you, Shane? Yeah, mate. Get up. Here's what. Do you know I'm sort of guy? But you're not a record like us. No. I only got it like 6 a.m. I would. Do you know what sort of guys? See, when I got my homework, when I got home, yeah. I'd say, let's just do it. Let's just get it done out of the way. Then my night's my own. True. Yeah. We should. We, to be fair, I think sometimes we do that, don't we? And then we just keep quite putting Was you ever? Off. Was you not beaten as a kid or anything? No. I see what I mean. That's but I, but, but I didn't need to be. I didn't need to be. But did you have social anxiety or not doing your homework? No, I was just like, you know, I did, I, do you know what I did? As soon as I got home as well, I get straight out of that uniform. You ever go to someone's house, you still uniform at half seven? Well, what are you doing? You're free. Yeah. You know? No, oh, um, I don't know. I so you were ready then? It was like from a child, wasn't you? You were ready for life? Mm -hmm. Not like us too. No, 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 no. Very prepared. You can don't see look that. me up and down. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're very prepared. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? You've always got, you always like pristine air cut and that and just, you know, like you Yeah, I've never seen you have off day. You know what I mean? There's no like... Maybe I'm leading up to something like... For, oh yeah, there's Like a Britney? Like a... Like a Northern Ireland male podcast, Britney moment. The, the severe oh, skeleton great in your closet. That would head. be great if you went off the rails. Yeah. I want to know what the, your, your, you've got darkness in your. <laughs> do you want me? Do you want me going off the rails? Would look like uh, maybe an up at like twenty past eleven at night. <laughs> texting my mates and all. <laughs> I fucked it, lads. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I've been playing fucking because I. My girlfriend goes to bed quite early because she has like a real job in that. And I don't like staying downstairs on my own because I always make a noise when I go to bed, do you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll just go to bed and try and sleep early. But then I'm up all night playing Tenable, man. Playing what? Tenable. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I've never owned a console in my whole life. I've done nothing. That's PlayStation, mad. nothing. Xbox, nothing. Played them a few times. At like a friend's house room, never owned one. But, you yeah. know, I started playing, so I went to Dubai last weekend. Long flight there, what am I going to do? I went back in. You say, have I ever gone off the rails? I used to have an addiction. Football manager. Oh, it's game, yeah. It's oh, I'm just out of that. Back in. Lad. I went back in. Gianluca Scamamaka, complete forward attack. <coughs> what, lad? So yeah. what team did you go? <laughs> well, this could be controversial in this city, but here's the thing. So I'm a Man United fan. Yeah. I don't believe in Man 
No, I'm gonna say I don't believe in managing like the best teams, and everyone's gonna like, oh, cool. <laughs> but mine, like, fuck off, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I like I I'll only do a challenge. I'll only go like championship, League One, League Two, something like that. But Everton being deducted ten points, I thought that's, that's my, my challenge. Ah, oh, yeah, that's get my them challenge. Back on track. Get on that flight. Get the game set up. Looking around for anyone who can like assist me. You know, because one time on a flight from either Dublin, New York, or the other way around, I was sitting beside this like middle-aged Dutch guy, and he was asking me what my game was. And as a laugh, I went, "You want to be my assistant manager?" And he went, "Yes." <laughs> and he starts advising me on like Dutch international players. Now I'd be like, "Guys, you'd retired like twenty years," but like, yeah, he was like getting involved, and every once in a while he would get involved. And he recommended it might have been like Class John Huntelaar. This is like oh yeah six years ago or something. You could have signed Huntelaar, like a little bit older, maybe yeah. playing for Schalke or someone. And I signed him. Um, I was maybe Aston Villa from memory serves me right. Beat Man City one 0 in the FA Cup final. Hoot the Lord score. Oh, I it. woke this guy up beside me, pointed to the screen. He said, "My work is done." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shout out! And the only down, the only downside of it was I in the back of my head I was like, if the board find out about this, oh, you know, yeah. they say your all of a sudden no, but they say that you know if I start having a few bad games. Who's to say they're going to go to fucking Frank here? Imagine if you found out where he lived and you knocked on his like a few months later. <laughs> <laughs> hell, man. I'm going to lose my job. But I was worried he was going to get, you know, they were going to think he's a brains by the oh, operation. So he you and I put him in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you're his assistant. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was that guy Liverpool got rid of, uh, the fucking scruffy cunt, and they went, oh, he's the brains behind Klopp, really. Oh, oh yeah. Because he had a off season. Oh, what was his name? Uh, he, uh, he brought a book out, didn't he? Yeah, it's going to do me, didn't he? He's like Bosnia or something, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he fell out with Klopp, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fell out with Klopp, and uh, yeah, did he, did he manage again? I don't oh, know. Say enough about him. Oh, Klopp's probably killed him. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh. well into footy, man. Like, to the point where I've got a busy day today, I've got this, a gig, and the live pod show. So just I'm in Liverpool all day, but and all of my kids got I've got seven games left. I'm top of the league with Atalanta. I'm gonna win Syria. I could win Syria. Well, what, see, what my Jenny? the thing about my flight was that flight to the is like seven and a half hours. I started to get really into it. it was I could feel all the old buzz all coming back. Juice, man. But then, so I started season minus ten points and limited money to spend, and I just start either winning or drawing. And my first ten games of the season go unbeaten. And the fans are loving it. But very quickly, they don't take into account. We're, we started 10 points negative. So I win loads of games. I lose 1-0 to Arsenal at home. As in, at the Emirates. I hate that, yeah. The, bo- uh, the, the board are delighted with your management by the 1-0 loss to Arsenal at the Emirates. I hate that. If it wasn't for the 10-point deduction, like 12 games in, we would have been in the Champions League spots. Then I fuck up. January's coming around. I get rid of loads of dead wood. I've got about six, seven million to play with. Mm. I've got Nathan Patterson as my right back, oh, yeah. young Scottish kid. Yeah, full back support. Full, Sh- oh, full back support or wing back? I play two complete wing backs with the support. Two, two complete wing backs? Yeah, with the support. Two. Not on each side. <laughs> two, yeah, on fucking hell. Yeah, but I put my wingers high up. Yeah, you've got big boys as well, Calvert Lewin and Beto. Exactly. Advance forwards or target forwards? Target forward support. Yeah. Target forward support and advance forward attack. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. So what happens is. I've got Nathan Patterson. He's not really doing it, but he does have great potential. Seamus Coleman's come back from a long-term injury. I need a left-back. What do I do? Sign this kid from Celtic, Alistair Johnson, who's very good, Canadian inter- international. It's all signed. It's agreed. TRN beside his name. Oh, oh. Realise? He's a fucking right-back. Oh, no. So I'm stifling the development of Nathan Patterson. Seamus Coleman's going, you know, he's, he's, in, he's back on the grass and giving me the thumbs up, you know. I'll be back soon, and I'm. Yes, but so what's Mikalenko saying? Huh? What's Mikalenko saying? He's left back. He's happy enough. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you I want competition for back. him because Ashley, Col- uh, Ashley uh, Young, Valentin Barco. Uh, couldn't afford him. No, couldn't afford him. Matteo Ruggieri. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> he might be a new gen. Matteo Ruggieri is fucking filth, mate. Oh my right. god! Because I have, I have inverted winger support. Right. Complete wing back attack. Focus play down the left. So he's always overlapping. He's the bombing on. Luckman cuts in, Ruggieri overside, whip in, Gianluca Scamacca, six foot five, jump in, reach 18, am I a prick? Now, will, will you judge me <laughs> on this? See, since I've ever played football manager, since I was about 12, I do only commentary. I never watch it. No. What do you think of I, that? I, I, I respect you, because um, I, for years, was a 2D man. Because championship man, Joe 304, yeah. I fell in love with 2D. Right. Footy man, Joe 607 is my favourite ever game. 
and that's 2D, do you know what I mean? And I just love the blobs, and I imagine the heads. But now, I don't like the 2D <coughs> match engine, do you know right, what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. The 2D match engines, they've not taken care of it, do you know what I mean? It's like, a, you know, you know that old fable about the old dog? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where the guy has got this dog? Tell me at first and then I might die. <laughs> so this kid That's not the way fables work. <laughs> you say the fable. <laughs> Joe the kid with the old dog. And he's like, oh this old dog's shit. I want a new dog. <laughs> yeah. And then his mum's like, right, we'll get you a new dog then. And it's like he's like playing with the new dog and the old dog's like, I'll oh, fuck you 2D pitch. I've got 3D pitch now. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yep. And then they go and play near the lake. The boy falls in, so I think that's the equivalent of the computer crashing. <laughs> 3D pitch, don't know what to do. Right. But 2D pitch, the dog, comes in, saves the old, the boy, grabs the boy out, because he's a 2D pitch, he's an old dog. Yeah. And it's like, you know, look after your, your old dog. <laughs> and then he puts the dog down. <laughs> that old fable, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like that. Yeah. All right, don't... Because this 2D pitch did so much for football managers, don't just shoo it off. Yes. For a 3D yes, yes. new dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, yeah. Know. Dog's not just for Christmas. It's for maybe falling into a lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah. Um, nah I, I only do it when I fly. That's it. Yeah. Only do it when I fly, although. You are you are a busy guy, though, aren't you? Then I'm going to Australia in a couple of weeks, boys. Oh, God. Oh, we could get, we'd get three quarters of a season in. Easy. Yeah. How long's the flight there then? A day, it's isn't it? Day, is it? Yeah. I do a, you do a seven and a half hour flight, Dublin to Dubai or Qatar, and then it's like 21, 22 hours. After the seven hours? Fuck oh. off. Yep. I'll, all right, I, I've, just, I've just been in the, the Emerald Isle. Yep. Love what you've done with the place. So. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit too much graffiti, but um, I, I went over there, and I, this is one thing I'd have anxiety over. Transfers, yeah. flight transfers. How do yeah, you do that? Connect them. Do you like? Do you get your bag, and then have to go around and check in again? Mm-hmm. Or do they? Or do they know? Ah, oh, this guy's not. Yeah, yeah. Staying in Copenhagen, he's going to. It Brazil. depends. If you book, usually, if you book with the same airline, if the both flights are with one Connecting. airline, they say, that. "Don't worry about your bag. Your bag will meet you there." Yeah. But if it's a self transfer, then you've got you've got to do that. Got and that would that. fucking that would give me anxiety big time. I just gigged in Dubai at the weekend. Guy had a wee sign on my name on oh, it. You know you've made it. I had that in Sorrento. Because we bought tran- we've yeah, actually booked a sign with my name on it. Um you know where where you've the travel agent does it all. Yep. You get a fucking name on. I'm oh, like, yeah. ah. Now that, that might be a bit like the boy with the 3D dog because we laugh at travel agents. We don't value travel agents anymore because mm. we've got Skyscanner. Yes. And Booking.com, we're travel agents. Yeah. But a travel agent's going, you're, they, I, then you're not getting, we've we got to be signed. We can't go back to our travel agent. What? I, we insulted her on the clip and it got back to her. Uh, Do from that clip, really? yeah, yeah, John Double New Talk Like that. Oh, shit. what she didn't like that. <laughs> 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 she seems like no crack at all. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was, I mean, she gave us a good deal, but she was a bit, you know, how did we get back slow. to her? Because look, because we, we said it was the travel agents in crew and it's not a hotbed, <sighs> it's a small place, you know what I mean? yeah, people talk, and then uh, yeah, she got tagged in it and that, so uh, can't go back there. That's not good, is it? We've got to do it online now, mate. Fuck I've got some holidays coming up. What are you going? Going to Florida in, in May. End of May. Disney? Go, la- yeah. All that? Harry Potter World, all this stuff. Mate. That's it scares me, you know, Disneyland. By the way, sorry, th- please tell me with, with you're not travelling alone. Yeah, solo mission. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's gone no. with his girlfriend. Yeah. Thank fuck. <laughs> She's just also as minded as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that scares me, Disneyland, you know. Well, you nothing older than a guy. He's like, I'm going to Disneyland. You go, who with? <laughs> no one. I, there's a, uh, I know a lad who goes to Florida <laughs> on his own every year for two weeks. So do I. And, and he's got... Stand up. Do you know him? No, a friend of mine, stand up, goes to... F- from back home. Goes oh, to right, Disneyland. Right. Aaron Butler. Goes, shout out, Aaron yeah, Butler. Yeah, yeah. And goes to like, Disneyland. Right, I was only just living his best life. Yeah. It's a bit freaky though, I don't know. Yep. It's a little bit nonsense, you know. And also as well, I've said it twice now, Disneyland scares me bad. Well, like right. the big characters and stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like the big Mickey Mouse, isn't it? Like I'm petrified bad. What, and then you think they're going to do something to you or something? Yeah, I just, I, I think I had a dream once where they were all like chasing me, you know what I mean? Murdering, like yeah, yeah, yeah. when I was a kid. And I, and I think since then I've just What's been... What's that thing where they're all in black and white and they've gone, and they've gone oh, evil? Don't. What's that on? What do you where, mean? Where the, 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 the toys got me evil. Might be a dream, I don't know. Toy Story? That, that's, that's fucked up as well. Nah, that, that Mickey Mouse has like black eyes and that. That's and what, just, yeah, that's just, what it is. Like, oh, really what was that one? Crazy. Fantasia or something? Like, yeah, it's like, you know, remember them Czech Republic cartoons? Nope. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's like, it's like really freaky and evil. Oh, like what that. a weird reference point. You know Czech Republic <laughs> cartoons? <laughs> you, why are you watching Czech Republic cartoons? For nah, because they're known for it, aren't they? <laughs> No, Joel, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Joel, uh, Joel, them freaky sort of Czech Republic cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Czech Republic, Republic oh, cartoons. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but like, yes, they're like weird. They're really gothic. They're really gothic, and you know, really creepy. Like, yeah, like the, for it, man. the videos on the ring. You know, like the the tape, the ring. <laughs> I'm trying to back it up and I'm the knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> the only person in the room who's hey, on side. I see what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Video on the ring. Yeah. Just imagine getting chased by a big fucking Mickey Mouse doll, you know what I mean? Mm. Why would they chase her? And then imagine finding out he's Czech. <laughs> you <hear> his accent? <laughs> <laughs> we went there, we took our kids to uh, the, fr the France one. And that see when they're at an age where they don't know that that's not the, the, the yeah, real Disneyland, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah, that's like when Your my son's looking at you like, can't get better than this. I'm like, yeah. it could have went to the Florida one, but don't yeah, worry about that's that. like my, when my mum took me to Southport Pleasure Beach. <laughs> Told you it was Disneyland. Your dad had a Mickey Mouse for this one. All right, Jamie. <laughs> I'm from the Czech Republic. <laughs> People, please back me up if you know what I mean about Czech cartoons. <laughs> Let's Google Czech cartoons. It's funny how you try to explain it more, don't you? Go, you know yeah. what I mean? The Czech Republic. <laughs> is that, is, I thought it was just a known reference point, man. Like the boy and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So where, where have you been on tour? Um, come back. Have, you, have you been to America? Or you just yeah, that was at the end of the year. Was uh, that good, was it? Hmm? Was that good? It was good, but uh, I miss uh, calculating my popularity in a lot of the places. Uh, yeah. Just ended up in like huge rooms, you know what I mean? Well, like I'm probably fun. thinking I could sell like say in New York. I'm like I reckon we could do three hundred, and I'm in like Madison Square Garden, going not quite like that, but yeah, yeah. you know I'm doing like Austin, Texas, and it's a four hundred seater, and I've got like eighty in. Yeah, and then you find out like oh there's clubs around there that are eighty seaters, and I'm oh, going to yeah. the, you know. Would it be an idea that we do the Small ones with the equivalent amount of people? Who decided that base. you? Uh, yeah. I said the cities want to play, and the promoters, to be fair to them, send over the venues. And I was like, yeah, I just I don't know them, so I'm like, yeah. But now that I've been there once, I would go ah, because I want to build it up, and I'm yeah. not like I would never go assuming I'm going to sell this. So it's yeah, all just yeah. have a go. Yeah, of course. Um, well, at least you've done it now, haven't you? And now yeah. you know to go play the smaller room. Yeah, then you go back. But it was sweet. Like even some of the ones were. I hadn't sold much at all. We're like the best. Like Philly was the last night, and I think I got like eighty people in the like a three hundred seater, and it was it was brilliant. But it's all at the minute. I'm sort of got my shows at home, like UK and Ireland, and then I'm just trying some places. Like I'm supposed to be doing Europe in March, say like ten dates, and I'm gonna have to cancel like eight of them just because of sales. Yeah. But I don't mind. Oh, you got that. gamble on, and I don't mind saying it too. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear all the like. Oh, for for other no for reasons. unforeseen circumstances, yeah, yeah, you've cancelled yeah, yeah. this. I think people uh, like it when you're honest, and you're yeah. like, no, it's because in shockingly yeah. in in Lisbon. That's what's possible about your promo, though, as well. Like you're very honest with your promo, aren't you? and you just like, fuck I, I, most yeah. people can sort of see through it, yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, always kids in hospital again, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't make Brussels. <laughs> can't make Brussels in six months. Kids got chicken pox again. <laughs> No, I, I I like like fucking rolling the dice in it because yeah. I, I remember when I did my foot one my first my, my first solo show did a work in progress in Manchester like fifty people absolutely it was like family and friends and that but bat it I've got a really good show here so I'll take it to the Leicester Comedy Festival amazing festival it's not as pressurized and expensive as Edinburgh just 
real, have you done it before? No. Really nice, really nice festival. But I've, I'm actually quite confident about the show and that. I went down and bar stuff like, yeah, we've, we've not sold any tickets, you know. So I, because you have like a ticket report thing that you yeah, sign yeah, into. Yeah. And it's got zero tickets. Well, it was free entry or five for, you know, for a guaranteed ticket. So I, oh yeah, we'll just get walk ups and that. I had like five past eight, no one there. Ten past eight, no one there. And then the staff member came and they went, you don't have to do it, you know. I went, no, no, I'll, I'll just do it anyway because it's good to practice. So I just did it to the bar staff. No. Yeah. I remember you telling me that because then you sold, you, you, you sold out and you're like, yeah, because then, so. then I went back there on tour and like sold it out two, yeah. two times, which was like so just a little good comeback. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, if I played, I, played I, to I, zero people. Yeah. My first solo show, um, it was like the time when Game of Thrones was that popular. So I called it Game of Tones, yeah. yeah. And it was just because I like like the artwork. I love artwork posters. Right. So it was just me on the Iron Throne, yeah, like my face on it. Yes. Game of Tones, yeah. It's and a sick poster too, and yeah. it's unbelievable poster we're cropping in now. And uh, <laughs> I didn't have a show, obviously, yeah. I was like still quite new stand up. Yeah. And I just thought, yeah, I'll just write the show. But I just wanted to get out there because I suppose yes. it was sick. So I put it out there, <laughs> sold it out, got to the day before, so didn't have a show. Just on my club set, really slow. For 60 minutes. <laughs> Tied on my ass of my own solo show. People waiting, waiting for all the references. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> after it was like, the post was sick, though, wasn't it? Mate, there was a guy back... There's no references to Game of Thrones whatsoever. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There was a guy back home who had, uh, he'd had, like... I think like a mini stroke or something, and did and did a show about it, and then incorporated that's stroke a into the title. Term, isn't it? What that's mini a, stroke? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mini stroke. But <laughs> sure. he put on a show in a, th- in a theater in a town back home, and it was like say a hundred and twenty theater sold out. Apparently, apparently he got there, and it was all like pensioners, and he's like, "Fuck, it's a bit weird," but hey, who cares? Started doing the show after like ten minutes, people started walking out. People thought it was like a. Informative talk about strokes on dealing with strokes and the after effects of strokes. Oh my god! So he's doing ten minutes of crowd work probably at the start, and then doing a bit of fucking material, and then people just what's your name? People oh, can't remember. My first, my first solo. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why am I getting no applause breaks? <laughs> oh, <lad. laughs> One half the face was laughing. My first solo show. I couldn't get, I, cu- I couldn't really sell tickets for it, and it was at 80 Cedar in Belfast. This is maybe 12, uh, 10, 12 years ago. And I was like, I, I for promo, I love, like, I'll think of something. Yeah, you've got, you've got really That promo, promo was like, sick this week. This week? The arena one. Thank you. Yeah, was- so, uh, but, so I love, like, be thinking of ideas for that. So the first one I got, that, like, a week before the show, and I was like, I really want to sell this out, but I don't know what to do. I have no team behind me or anything. So... I came up with this idea, and my mate Aaron, who goes to Disneyland by himself, um, <laughs> filmed me emailing every radio station in Northern Ireland and saying, I was like, you know what I need to do? Because I'd mailed them all before. I'm a stand-up comedian, doing first ever solo show, would love to get an interview on the station. No one got back to me. Yeah. So I, emailed, I created a new email address, got a, some random name. I said my name was Craig something. Got back, <laughs> Mr. Craig something. <laughs> and I got back to them all again. I was like, hello, uh, I'm sit- I'm a huge Liverpool fan. I'm sitting beside Brendan Rogers, who was then Liverpool manager, in the in the in the Derry City Airport. Um he's sitting beside me, can't believe this. Just thought I should let you guys know. If you want to give me a ring, I'll see if he'll come on the phone. And then we film me just waiting. None of them got back to me. Eventually, BBC Radio Foil, which is like Derry's BBC yeah, radio yeah. station, get in touch with me. Email me back. We'd love to chat to you about this. And there was a guy called Mark Patterson doing the show, who's a big Liverpool fan. Him and his, t- his co presenters all Liverpool fans. So he emails me back, uh, someone from the show does, we'd love to give you a call about this. So we have all this filmed, and I'm sitting in my mum's living room doing this. They phone me. Now, I can do a passable Brendan Rogers if that. So I go on YouTube. They're phoning me to go on air on this show. So I go on YouTube, uh, airport, lounge, uh, ambience, music, play that. So you can hear a few announcements and people chatting and all that kind of stuff. And he rings me. And for some reason, I put on a different act. I, I was playing Craig, who was this yeah, random yeah. generic guy. Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, I gave Craig a different accent than mine. <laughs> so, so they what, rang me. What was Craig's accent? Craig was a bit more like that, right? So Craig and I said, yes. And they were like, we're going to put you live. Is Brendan there? And he said, I'm having a bit of banter. He's sitting beside me. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to get him on the phone with you. 
And then we're like, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. So the guy goes live, he goes, Craig, I believe you're a big Liverpool fan. Who are you sitting beside? Oh, Bren Rogers. I'm sitting beside Bren, I'm burning the ears off me sitting beside me here. They present, I'm, they're going to smell rat. Guy goes, I saw, I felt fucking terrible. Guy goes, would you see if you'd have a chat with us? He wouldn't, would he? I said, I'll say to him, I go, Brendan. <laughs> Brendan Rogers comes on the phone. I go, all right, guys, how you doing? Okay, Brendan here, okay. <laughs> Fell goes, uh, Brendan. Now, he's at a point where he, could, he should go, I think this is bullshit. Yeah. He goes the other way, he goes, Brendan, off. Oh. <laughs> it's great to chat to you. Thanks so much. He goes, he goes <laughs> straight in, he goes, some rumours, uh, um, Luis Suarez uh, might, might have got himself injured in international duty. And I I turned into a psychopath. I was like, I well, you know, we've, we're, we're, we're liaising with the medical team in Uruguay on that one and uh, <laughs> speaking to, uh, to the physio. You know, I can't say too much. And then and then his co-presenter goes, Brendan, you going to sign Adam Lalana? I went, can't talk too much about that. You know, I have a lot of respect for the Southampton manager. It went on for way too long. <laughs> For ages, they're asking me, I'm talking about fucking tactics and all. <laughs> and I, I feel awful for these guys. I feel awful. It's supposed to be a stupid joke. And the guy, uh, halfway through it, one guy goes, I think we smell a bit of a rat here. He goes, who, who are you really? And I said, well, it is Brendan Rodgers, but uh, the reason I was home was speaking to a young comedian, Shane Todd, who's doing a stand-up show in the black box. And Bell. apparently tickets are still available. Seven pounds, so you can pay at the, pay at the door, you know, delighted to be. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to miss it, but I'd be delighted they they get to it. And they were they were like this. Ah, you've done it. good. What good man, Craig? I was like, I'm not even called Craig. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 oh, and that was it. And then I shared, I edited a video and shared that sick. clip, and the gig sold out. About a year later, I spoke to a producer who worked on that show just by chance, and she was like, "Remember you did that thing with Brendan Rodgers?" And I went, "Yeah, I went. That was that was good crack." And she went, "Those guys hated it. The station hated it." Because because then it opens the floodgates for people like do, you know oh, doing more of that. Oh, right, yeah. But yeah. it started off a bit of innocent promo, and then in the moment of being him for the three minutes, I felt the pressure of being Liverpool manager. <laughs> I'm talking. He's like, "What's happening, Luis Suarez?" In the back of my head, I'm going, "What is happening, Luis Suarez?" Have to fucking Andy Carroll's going to have to play as a target man support. You know, you have to go on the phone and fucking get your Dutch friend. Um, <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> You'll play for Shri Shri. <laughs> Bring back Van Nischel, Roy. He retired five years ago. Oh, that's class, that, you know. that is mad. I used to... Uh, and that's right, I also meant to tell you guys, I uh, got choked out once by Roy Kane. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't I, happen, uh, lad. Nah, I wish Roy Kane choked me up. Sadly. <laughs> yeah, I used to uh, text in Key 103 every day. <laughs> this is us proper Danes, man. I was man when you were. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine then, <laughs> Jesus. This is you sorted. <laughs> as when I was managing a bookies, and it was a dead quiet shop job, and you just had the regulars and that. So, and you're there for like fourteen hours a day, and you just got periods of like nothing happening. Yeah. So you just go a bit stir crazy, don't you? So, you had like a a phone in texting thing where you went, have you? See, celebrities in normal circumstances, do you know what I mean? And yes. I, I just went, oh yeah, just seen Roy Cropper and Greg's. I don't know why I made it up. <laughs> Roy Cropper? Yeah. I just went. I just so the him. actor who plays Roy Cropper. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day, I just became this recurring character on Key 103, where I just make up lies about Roy Cropper. <laughs> and, and in my head, I thought, yeah, they're going to invite me on Monday. <laughs> To, and then that's my thing into show business. I just need to keep making up more and more. Roy Cropper's barely in show business. <laughs> 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 Never mind the guy who sights. <laughs> but I just texted in, hi Sam, it was Sam Walker. And I've always wanted to like message him. Do you remember the Roy Cropper days? It was like a period of six months. I text in every day at 4 p.m. <laughs> I lie about Roy Cropper. <laughs> and, she go, oh, and, then I, and then I just. Was got, it always realistic? It was just really mundane stuff. Right, yeah. Just really mundane stuff. Just helped Roy Crop. It, right, I've seen Roy Crop struggling with his bins. Just helped him out there. Would it, do you, did you ever get worried it would be the boy who cried wolf? Like one day you would see Roy, <laughs> Roy Walker in like a leisure centre swimming pool. <laughs> They're never going to believe me. Hey, <laughs> Roy, Roy Crop is drowned as dogs trying to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> How intense would it be, Roy, for four years I've been uh, waiting for this moment? And then. And you had run into. The show after uh, Sam Walker was just in Morehouse. 
Oh you know, yeah, he's obviously now yeah, yeah. a friend of mine and that. And um, she said to him, "You know when they pass over? Yeah. When they, when they go, uh, oh, just, we could pass over. Just how you say, Justin? Yeah, no, nah, mate. You know." <laughs> uh, and um, when they passed over, they went, um, "What do you make of uh, Roy, Roy Cropper being seen uh, mowing the lawn and that?" And he went, "Oh yeah, he's texting every day. I'm sad." <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> it was a comedian as well. I was like, yeah, oh, oh no. It's not even funny. Six month bit. Six month bit. Oh, Six month bit. <laughs> 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 I probably thought I was going to get invited on and stuff. Oh. It's funny how you start something like that and then you're like, this is going to go to the top. Like, I started doing it at the start of the year. A daily impression of Palonatini. Where oh, I go, please, I I go you send me you the song that. and I'll do it in the style of Palonatini. We're going to do it every day this year. Word got back to me. That Don't the, say that the big it. man had heard it. But here's the thing he liked it. They said, it, from a good source, they went, I've been showing him this. He loves it. He thinks it's great crack. And I went, you know what? He sounds like a great guy. And so if there's any. It? Percentage of him that's like this is disrespectful. I'm gonna stop doing it. His nod of approval is all. Are you a massive fan of his so like, Huge. Yeah, see. That's why everyone in the comments was like, Palantine's actually great. And I'm like, I think he's the best, yeah, art, yeah. one of the best artists of his generation. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of thing, it's like paying yeah. homage, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I won't say you did. It's just a song in the style of him. Give, so. You give me the song and I do it. Well, that's um, class, you know, I'll do, um, do you know Rush Hour? Oh, you send me, take me to the Rush Hour. Sake. Um, it's very big. Where in, he's, where he, where it's very big. Czech Republic. It's very big in the Czech Republic. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about? Uh, what about the Ron Keaton song? Oh, what, <laughs> what about um, <laughs> words by Ron Keaton? By Ron Keaton. No, give me something uh, a bit, a, a bit livelier. Okay. Um, what's livelier? Um, I can't think of any songs now, man. I know. Yeah. I just think of sad songs. Me. <laughs> what about seventeen? You've been even missing me, baby. <laughs> I don't know that song. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what are you laughing? Oh, it's just Daniel Sturridge stats. And the Daniel Sturridge come back. Fuck it, that's what it is. You've been missing me. left your lads, fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's well, kill me that. Well, Brendan Rodgers was here. Why can't I do it? Oh, Think of an upbeat song, Dad. Nah, man. nah, the moment's <laughs> gone, lads. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's gone. It's gone. All, I need, all you need to do is find this one with the word no one in you. Oh, no! <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, I don't know Paul, I don't know Paul on the team enough to judge <laughs> oh, No, it's good. What, what was your favourite song to do? What? Like His actual one, Pencil Full of Lead, but I didn't know the lyrics, so you'd... Oh, I got a bit, 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 so much more. I got ready to be done, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, no! He does that, he dips down, then goes way loud. Right, tell me Wogan. What? What? I'm Terry Wogan. What do you mean, you like Terry Wogan? Terry Wogan does that, doesn't it? Well. You're saying Teddy Wogan sounds like Paolo Nutini. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Paolo Do you ever listen to the radio yeah. and go, that's either Paolo Nutini <laughs> or Terry <laughs> Wogan? <laughs> <laughs> no, he does so. He goes like this one, he goes, we've got a young man in the airport today. He's got Brendan Rodgers on the side of him giving some banter. I actually do get your point. Do you know what I mean? Mentally, I do understand. See? This Sorry is the first time you've ever said, do you know what I mean? And I've said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Czech Republic cartoons? <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> the band the dog. <laughs> the band the dog. <laughs> Listen, the guy, I'm going to be respected as a philosopher when I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I've always said that you're the most like stupid, the smartest man I've ever known. Like, That's yeah. what um, I got. I got a review and they said, I'm a Weatherspoon's Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but it's you know what's funny? Do you ever like be so dismissive of the idea of reviews as a comic? You're like, fuck reviews, man. Even get, fuck reviews, hate reviews, and then you get a good one. You're like, nah, but yeah. some yeah, some yeah, of them know just, what they're talking I about. Did, um, <laughs> yeah. I did. Anyone who says that means you've got shit reviews. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean. did. I did the Drake meme of that. 
Do all the Drake Oh, memes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, like it's got, split it's got me like that. Fucking few. I went, all reviewers only review because they couldn't do the thing that they review yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And then it's got me like <laughs> commanding stage presence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just a shit brain you take one little benefit yeah. lots of people using like comments on their Instagram like reels are they as quotes now are they and stuff like oh, that oh no yeah, so, so a random or right under it like love yeah, this and, th- and then I put that on a poster no Chapman's doing it with but, um, but his hate comments Chapman's doing funny. all these hate comments like this is I've, I've shit been yeah, that's that. funny I like that. <laughs> that's but that. I am um, sometimes as well I have this I've had this thing before where someone says something verbally and and I go, can I? Because I've been, I've supported some fucking great comics, yeah, yeah. and they either on stage, I've said to you, say what about that, blah blah blah, yeah. and then I'm like, but that lit, I am directly quoting them. You I'm are then, aren't you? yeah, yeah. I'm just trying, but especially if it's recorded though. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to find a picture. I won't be a sec. Because I, I did a <laughs> promo po- picture of myself. I remember the Echo years ago writing a big, uh, big, big, big thing about, like, I think they come to a hot water show and I was on and I just used, I just took three words out of it, made my own quote out of them. Right. Because yeah. they are words from yeah, the yeah. thing. True comic brilliance it was. <laughs> right. Still use it now. <laughs> also on. <laughs> it's true, this comic possesses no brilliance. You're like, oh no, we have the admission for your lonely sheds about me, actually. Oh, well, right, that, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So bad. here's mine. You're that, five of them. I'll chop, I'll chop this in, but here's mine that I made when I was starting out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drop it in, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't just have a good one. Jack White up. <laughs> so, so for the audio listeners, um, you try, I, I see a lot of comics, when, when sometimes a big comic just drops into new material now, and when yeah. you knew, you're like, fuck, this is unbelievable. last week. Yeah, Bishop came down yeah, there. Yeah. And um, you're just like buzzing and you're just having small talk with him. And then I've seen new acts just, when, when a, a major act has just gone, oh, nice work, mate. They've put on the poster straight away. Nice job, fucking, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Peter yeah. K or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I did yeah. one because I'd gig with like three real, like big names. So I put, nice to meet you, I'm Gary, Gary Delaney. <laughs> Did you get the train here? Ron Mishrank and Nathan. <laughs> Sorry I can't stay. Have a good one. Jack White. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to chase one that I did last year. I got them for John Mulaney last year. Um, and I can't remember. He, he, like, we chatted after, but I'm a big fan of it. Sometimes you can't remember what people yeah. say. So I'm trying to get a quote from it. Because I don't want to put one on and then not ever have a called out for yeah. being bullshit. Like. Yeah, yeah. I, I've done sort of anti ones. Right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Because I did it with comics, but was, I'd like, his life's pathetic, Adam Rowe. Um, useless cunt, Sean Walsh. Right. Do you know what I mean? So it's just all yes. ne- yeah, negative yeah, yeah, ones, yeah, but yeah. playful. Yeah, I had a political commentator on Twitter last year call me a sad little man. And as soon as he said that, <laughs> I went boom poster. <laughs> For the opera house shows in Belfast, but people would know him in Northern Ireland. But the promoter didn't see me say, just obviously use that for the local shows. And I was showing up to tour shows in America <laughs> and that quote was on it Sat but people much. didn't People, it just looked like it was from another comic because it was after two comics yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ricky Drace did it years ago didn't he he had, like, he had a quote from Jerry Seinfeld one from Chris Rock um, one from like Louis CK and then the fourth one was one slagging him off by the Daily Mail <laughs> right. you know what I mean so you yeah. got these fucking yeah all he say got these words. legends yeah, yeah, yeah. and that. Oh, oh, that. what do you use now what do I use though? Use I don't do I really. I, really nah, you don't, I, think, I think you use one or two. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah I've, well, obviously when I've obviously the right tour or something or, or solo show probably this year, which well, well, pretty much nearly finished now. But I pro- and if I go on tour, I, don't, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, because there's two angles I want to go down. I, I, I want to start emceeing in the year, so mm. I've got my foot in the door now. So people, people like people use it as a way to name drop as well. Like the only one I really use is the Kevin Hart one that I got. Yeah, but yeah. that's you can't use that, you. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are just the way they do it. What, what is the quote from Kevin Hart? From Kev? Yeah, uh, from Kev. Oh, sorry, from Kevin Kev. Hart. Um, <laughs> our Kev said, uh, <laughs> he said dope. He said, that guy's dope. So I just put dope, which is funny because that also can be like an insult. <clears throat> you big dope. I don't know if you would say you it here. Dope. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Big dope. Yeah, you dope. Yeah. dope. But he yeah, said dope. But, but, so but said he said that like dope. Yeah. Uh, Blacks don't say dope. Unless they mean good. 
More philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but black people say dope as in, you know, yes, street yes. dope. Do you know yes. I mean? yeah. Not like the big dope. <laughs> yeah, you ain't dope. <laughs> Um, and I had a, I had a, I had a Bill Burr one too. Because see, the, the, here's the thing: we're in a far smaller pool of comics back home, so the chance of being able to support someone like that are way better. Oh, yeah. You know, when they come to town, there's, there's because if they're in Liverpool, I'm not getting the nod, am I? You know what I mean? Well, the, the so I was the first time I did Ulster Hall, which holds about a thousand in Belfast. The week before that, I got open up for Bill Burr, and it was literally shot in dark. I've emailed the promoter. I'm a big fan of Bill. I would love to come and do a set, obviously for free. Play, oh. Um, he knew me. Yeah, I'd gigged with him, but he was he was a Dublin promoter, uh, so he didn't know me that well. But he knew I've gig, I gigged for him before, um, and he was actually promoting my show. So he's like, "Yeah, that'll work." So I got to do the venue week before me, feel what the venue was like, and just do ten minutes before one of my favorite comics, and it was unreal. And and, and none of those guys have been like a letdown to meet at all, which is great. That's and like, do one like because they've all been all been proper sound, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. like um, that Diamond Company. What's that? <laughs> do all that time we come for it. No. To get Dragon's Den back home. I love saying back home, so I would see. <laughs> no, we don't have. What's this Dragon's Den on? What's this television you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Fiddly dee doodly doo. <laughs> they had this. Um, this is how I used to get gigs when I was starting out. It was cold, cold emails. Yeah. So I'd yeah. love to come and gig for you for free. Just yes. Like, try and trial it. Rather than wait for adverts in the Facebook forum and that. Just go out and email yeah. me, yeah. Um, and they had this. And you remind me of this because you told me once you know, when you got like big names like Segura and that a few parts. You went, I just, I just asked. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a mad thing to say, but you've that uh, is how to do it. We, we there's still comics I meet that are like, oh, I just I and I don't even they don't do it in, in like an arrogant way, but they're like, I don't ask for gigs. I just wait till people ask me, and I'm like, that's mental to me. Yeah, you just wait. I haven't that, been really. asked to do that one. Ask to do, do it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'll still text my mates. Like all so he can say is no, isn't he? Yeah. Like, crack on like tonight, one. I'm gonna land home at about eight in the Belfast, and but I I oh, pass the city centre on the way home, so I'll text Colin at Lavery's and go, "Can I jump on for ten minutes?" Now, if I'm not on the poster, or just jumping on. Obviously, I'm doing that for free, but you know, there's a ten minute set. There's a bit of a workout. Yeah, I I I I, I love it. I you're very proactive. Yeah, but I'd be so scared not to be, because then when you're doing the lucky to do these big, big tour King shows Shaggy or yeah. arenas or whatever, yeah. I I can't understand if you just do those and don't do the clubs. You'd be so good yeah. in the diamond industry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something you say to young boys. I think you should entice them into your I own think you should put that on your next poster. <laughs> 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 so yeah. this woman goes on, yeah, proper like Belgian. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not an insult, just her nationality. Oh no, like, yeah, but like that's not like a that's not like a round here, northwest yeah, of England, like slang term. She's got the the black in the flag in her. Do you know what I mean? Like the Belgian flag. Yeah. She's got that sternness of the the, the black, <laughs> and then the the fiery Whoa. the fiery of the orange and yellow. You know what I mean? She's oh, all oh. oh, right, okay, the flag. Okay, yeah, right, okay. That's how Belgians are known, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they have the same. Yeah, no, because Kevin De Bruyne hasn't got that. He's got the orange and yellow, though. Yeah, too, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Right>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that what? Danny, oh, stop putting a right. sign up saying, what about Lukaku? <laughs> 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 oh, Bad man. Oh. So this woman, this woman goes on Dragon's Den. Yeah, I love Dragon's Den. Like, it's my, uh, my come down sort of watch, do you know what I mean? Seeing people do, do well for themselves and that. <laughs> when you feel like shit. Yeah, I love yeah. it, man. Yeah. And she goes on, she's like, with after uh, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds or three percent of company, you know, yeah. um, it's from the Russian province of Belgium, <laughs> <laughs> just outside Ghent, um, and they're like, "Oh, what's this diamond company?" That because Dragons then they're like three percent. You fucking taking the piss? I'm Stephen Bartlett. I've got a big podcast and that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And she's like, "Nah, we we we're, we're like two hundred fifty grand for three percent. This diamond company is sick, yeah." So you need to invest in it, yeah, because... She's um, picked up the accent quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, um, so it's 
So she's saying it's like ethical diamonds, you know what I mean? So like yes. good diamond and that, it's like good diamond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not blood diamond, it's good diamond. <laughs> That's the tag. <laughs> Um, it's good diamonds and that, yeah, um, like all ethical and that. So, I've everyone, seen this. so everyone's like, oh yeah, really, yeah. And we went, yeah, we had celebrity endorsements. Um, fucking Jessica Albers wore it. Um, Jessica Simpson, one of the other Jessicas, um, and Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. And then Stephen Bart's like, how'd you get Meghan Markle? You know his little yeah sit. Where you're he's small sit. teeth, look. You know the way he sits. Yeah. How did you get Meghan Markle? And she goes, oh, it was just a cold email. Say I love that. Yep. And then he he offered and then he offers two fifty for five percent, yeah. Sarah Billingham, oh, I don't know no about diamonds, but I fully love you like and two hundred and fifty thousand for three percent. I'll give you what you ask for Lee. Right? And he goes two fifty for five percent because look, I can grow your bent, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So she goes, ah, oh, right. Nah. He goes, Oh, what do you mean? No. Went, nah, mate. You've had an offer there, 250 for 3%. Well, I'm not working with that fucking daft bitch. You're having a laugh. <laughs> nah. So Stephen Bowles like, well, what about me? She went, yeah, we want you. 5%, nah. And he went, um, and they said back, right, well, the maximum we'll go to is four. So he went, well, you do four? And they went, no. He went, I don't want to lose you, I'll do it for free. Just like, fuck it. Double like, down. That is Belgian, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So you have that about you? Oh. Yeah, Joe. So you are the diamond man. You're the di you're the you're the Belgian diamond. <laughs> the Belgian diamond man. Laveries is Stephen Bartlett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a ten. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. doing I'm doing a fifteen. Yeah, but he's doing it for free. All we've got is a ten. No, I'm doing a fifteen. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And that's why I had my that's why I had my. Head. Well, um, see uh, on the. The theme of Jordy accents <laughs> on my stag every night of my stag three nights I would individually WhatsApp voice note every single man on that stag and leave them a message of like gratuity for the day from Paul Gascoigne. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So they would all get an indiv a minimum of one minute long an individual voice note from me when I got back into the hotel in the bed. I would send them out, uh, and and Gaza was like he'd had a few drinks and he was tired. Yeah. So say my mate Stevie would be, I like Stevie, it's royal pile, Gaza. Just want to say, appreciate you, mate. And Gaza would like go into detail about things you've done that day, and you know, I really like sitting beside you at dinner, mate. Royal pile, Gaza loves you, mate. And I kept it up after the stag for maybe a week. <laughs> Not everyone in the group, but I focused on the four boys who loved it, like, yeah, yeah, kept yeah. getting like, you're all you're all in Gaza. Candy guy, aren't you? Though you're all in Candy guy, yep. you know what I mean? But I see it out. I'm yes, similar to yes. you in that the voices in our heads are addictive. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No. No, we're not similar. <laughs> no, we are. No, we, are. <laughs> we are not. No one's ever gone. She and Todd Jimmy Hutchinson similar. No. <laughs> William was gagging with you in the limelight and he was telling me about the, what's the, what, the doll thing? Oh, Moz. Right? <gasps> see that? See uh, that? William's see that? head fell off. <laughs> yeah, see that? Nah. <laughs> nah, just in general, nah. Really, uh, his head fell off. You know, he was like, "What's going on here?" I said, "I said to William, just shut it down." He goes, "What do you mean?" I went, "Just, uh, just either be like, no, or, or, or like, leave the go for a walk or something." William was like, "Nah, nah, I was just, he was just doing it." <laughs> Yeah. You don't just be doing it. No, no, it's yeah, it's in, it's ingrained in me. We were, you know, it turned, you know, limelight obviously turned into a club after the show. Yes. So it's a bit of a nightclub, all the, all the kids come in there. Yeah. So we just have to stand at the bar and he's running around with this teddy bear. Uh, Willie just looks at me and goes, Rise him off. <laughs> just gets off. And like, Willie seen some me. shit. Like, yeah, he's just, was like, You're leaving me? Can I come to you? Can I stay in yours? Two <laughs> months before that, Willie had opened for Louis CK and left your presence. No, but we are similar. I just leaned into it more. You just you you repress it right. through through being polite and washing right. and that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's your what's your beauty regime? Because you look you look too well groomed. To, I think you I think you make yourself look clean cut to stop the darkness. Where I just lean into the darkness. You're going into me. I swear. Do you think I if like I that. you think if I didn't have a chance to groom? Mm -mm. For example, yeah, yeah. like if I, well, I was oh, tied you up. You moisturise? Yeah. 
What's, what's wrong with that? Big, it's nothing wrong with it, but you, you're hiding something. You've got div- there's a darkness in you. So you're saying if we tied Shane up here for a couple Eventually. of days, didn't get a shower, didn't get a, a fresh trim. Yeah. He would so, he, stay up past he, half he, he, The darkness would come out after. Or just give him an ABK. Just a little sip of ABK. Oh no, I can't bother moisturising today. And then you slowly, you slowly turn into. Me. And what do you think that look in fast forward a week? What do, you think, what do you think that looks like in a week? You'll look like me. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? I've got a sick idea for for a uh, special. Shoot, right? Yeah. Tea with me, times hot water's green room special. Yep. We live each other's lifestyles for a month. A, a I month. will not let you near my family. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who could I swap with you, Nathan? You and the. Uh, oh, well, by the way. By the way. Bad, did you? Do you know what I'm not having? Uh, me, like, FaceTiming home. And I'm like, where's Uncle Jamie? Uncle Jamie not looking after you? No, he says, Moz is looking after us. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, no, do you know what? And I, I'm, I'm not just saying this. I am pretty. My version of like fun and all that. I'm actually. It's not that I'm hiding them. I am dull. I am a little bit boring, and I and I've no problem. I'm a naff dad, and yeah. I've 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 realised that's me. I you spoke about that on your on your pod. Yeah. You said like you're not really part of the It's not I, you. I, it's I, not you. Yeah. I spent so long trying to be like I love all this and going out and the partying. Yeah. It turns out I just don't. don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I just I like my family and football. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I love this one. I think I think there, I think there is a bit of you in me and a bit of me in you because we have the same oh, work yeah. ethic and that. Yeah. We have the same. Yep, yep. I'm I'm emailing everyone I know to try and get gigs. I was always like that starting out. And I see it. Doesn't mean you just like each other because you both fucking work hard. No, there is. I can see it. I can sense that. I can sense. He moisturises too much to not be <laughs> weird <laughs> inside. He's look. He's too pristine. There's never a hair out of place. Why? He's. I need to focus on this because the bad thoughts. Well, do you want me happening. to tell you why that is? When I was growing up, I had very big ears, very big teeth, and a wee small head. Mm. But my head has my head grew quite a bit, thankfully. So I grew into my features a little bit. Yeah. So I was the smallest guy in my year at school always, and I hit a growth spurt when I was like seventeen, and and then my head, you know, my head started to grow and stuff. Uh, (laughs) 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 Oh my god. <laughs> People were saying it like I noticed it starting to yeah. just fill a bit, and um, and then I am. Do you like you know like you know you know like a time lapse on planet Earth, yeah. and all of a sudden there's vegetation and stuff over a long time. <laughs> My head's like <laughs> took a long time, and you would have to speed it up to see the change. But my head grew, um, and then so your head grew when you were seventeen. So I would say, like, I was very. It was just like a little head before seventeen. Yeah, do we? <laughs> yeah, Joe. This feels like my youth now. This feels like my childhood, guys. Nice one. <laughs> oh, fuck you, know, funny. The darkness is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I, oh. So, so, so I, 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 I used, I was very pa- paranoid about the way I looked, right, okay. my height, all that. So I do, I do take a pride in my appearance. That we probably does get confused with vanity, is sometimes. What also helps but I just as well. Like to feel good. You, you sleep, you sleep early. You're up, active. You like to be, you know. Well, you gotta get a party with the kids. So I have to. But go to bed. you're like you're a lad who fuck up tonight, yeah, and you're rocking in a free four in the morning. Yeah. You've been on the ale all night. You wake up the next day, the last thing you want to do is moisturise, mm. isn't it? But the simi- similar to you, though, I grew up, I was a bit of an ugly duckling. And I was just... I didn't say it was... And I was just, <laughs> I didn't say it was ugly. I was just told, <laughs> no, like, yeah. you know, I was told, like, you know, the old fable about the ugly duckling. <laughs> 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 and it grew, it grew into a beautiful swan or whatever it is. Yep. And then I hit puberty and I was just like, fuck it, I'm just an ugly duck now. 
Fucking but here's it. What do you know? <laughs> exactly what do you know? Thirty-two and a half. Hmm? <laughs> and a half. <laughs> 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 Thirty-two. <laughs> No, this is you're winding me up. I swear, thirty two. <laughs> winding me up. <laughs> right. Let me use a football analogy, right? Yeah. If people saw us, right, and I said I I used to play for Man United when I was younger, and I said I remember this guy because he was at Man United at the same time as me, they would think, when I was a youth player, you were a scout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you're Ronaldo and he's Rooney. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought... I thought you were maybe, like, around my age. How old are you, Shane? 35. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's too many check cartoons. Imagine boy. me... Co- <laughs> How w- imagine... <laughs> <laughs> this is what check cards you just see it. Like not that I would use the, the, the demeaning term, but I'd be within my rights to be like, alright kid. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> you look like my uncle. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> that's what I mean, I gave up. I've started most of the But hey, here's the thing, you're thirty two, your head could still grow. No. Or or get or or we go compress. shrink, yeah, we need to yeah. shrink, don't we? Go too much, yeah. That Dublin barber said that too. You know, that's what you'll get honesty with our barbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen Spy Kids? You look like the thumb. You look like the. <laughs> I've never seen that. Do they do it in Czech? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what their accent is. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, let's go on that podcast then. Um, what have you got to plug? Where. Uh, can be is that it? Tits and stuff. Yeah, is that where yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? It's oh, ten to five. It is me that needs to go to the airport. I know, yeah. but that fucking yeah, he's got the airport. Well, hey, I, I tell you what. Let me, let me throw this at you. If if I have time when I'm coming back to do the tour show, if the flights work out, why can we do another one and then we can and then you can put it out way down the line? Yeah, absolutely. This is it. Yeah, what um, are yeah. That? yeah. I will tell you this before we go. The first time I ever came to Liverpool was um, a school trip when I was like. Eight, a very very small head, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I'm sure you heard about it. The freak small head boy who came over on the boat, but um, I remember it was. We- I've never told this on a podcast. I don't know why. Um, I remember being in Liverpool. We get into this hotel. This like oh, I can tell you where or what it is, but an old hotel. I don't know if like ghost stories Delphi, and all freak you out, but right, would have been the Delphi Hotel. Yeah. <coughs> it's the freakiest thing that's ever happened to me. So we're getting all checked in and that kind of thing. <laughs> and there's like a room for us, because a big room in school trip, like a function room. Yeah. And you sit there and then they give you like your room and your key and all that. And then one by one, everybody goes. And as a last person in there, like get given the room. And it's pretty late at night as it is. And there's just nothing going on in the hotel. It's freaky shit. And um, the teachers are coming in, giving everyone the room, all that kind of thing. And then teacher goes, oh, I'll be back in five minutes. Teacher goes away. And then all of a sudden, the lights go off. And I'm in this function room. I was probably like eight years old, freaking out. On your own? On my own, right? It's a true story. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh shit. And I didn't want to like call out for anyone. I was like, oh, the lights will come back on. And I sat there, and I do not believe in ghosts, right? I do not believe in yeah. ghosts, right? So don't at me in the comments. <laughs> and I was sitting there uh, with my back to the wall, and I was like, what the fuck's going to happen? And I felt like breathing on the back of my neck and there was nobody else in the room and I felt breathing in the back of my neck and I, I, I was like, oh my God, it's a ghost. And I swear to God, this is a true story. I was like, what the fuck? I knew there was a presence there. It was Roy Keane and he choked me out. What an episode. Um, oh, go and check out Tea With Me and is it Mif- Oh, sorry, by the way, but about the show. Yeah. 
the venue wasn't so we'd rescheduled it once and then the venue wasn't going to be ready this, this time the, 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 obviously the fans know about this because obviously Jamie's tour has been right. same as well yeah. so they said, nightmare. they said do you want to put it back again or we can do it in the original old venue and do an early and late show I said let's do that that room was sick downstairs as I well. love it sick. and that, that amount of tickets were, were already gone so yeah. um, so I'm, I'm not plugging anything um, I've got a big bell when is it, when's the date stuff for downstairs Oh, a um, few weeks in it. Next, 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 next week. week. Yeah, the ninth. So if if you could jump back on next week, then yeah, 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 yeah. We'll sort it out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sort something, yeah. yeah. And if we're ever in Belfast, we'd love to come on again. That's one of our favourite things we've done. Oh, of course. Love oh, Jesus. Any, so any, any time. I think comedians from uh, Belfast, the Belfast scene, comedians on the scene here, right? we all just get each other. Like, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's very similar scenes, and yeah. I think it's no coincidence that they're both blowing up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah sweet. So um, yeah, so Tea With Me, and is it Mysteries? Mysteries, yeah, it's a limited yeah. uh, comedy history series that we do. Yeah, go and check that out. Um, sign up to Patreon, you get early access to episodes like this. You also get two bonus episodes a week now, the Patreon and the live show. You can always, you can stream it as well, and then you'll get like a proper like polished version coming up a few days later so well worth three quid Tony Cadillo friends my resident show at Hot Water every Tuesday start weekly from the 7th of March so come down and get ticket support as you know it's absolutely fantastic great comedians on Jamie's about to well you're, you're going to do it again soon aren't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for listening <laughs> goodbye bye bye guys as if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me and your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be Thinking maybe you'll come back into the place that we'll meet And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street Cause, Cause I'm what? not moving I'm not moving Yeah And I'm not moving You could definitely be a lead singer of a band